Okay, it's rolling in here. the garage live we've got an absolutely fantastic night planned for you tonight we've got some amazing band all from the northeast we're going to crack on very very soon my name is rosie and this is angela hello everyone <laughs> um, we've got an absolutely brilliant lineup for you tonight and also we've got a great live studio audience would you like to give us a little bit of a cheer studio audience <laughs> oh, very jazzy. okay so without further ado let's get on with the first act and this is tom hollingworth <laughs> How are you tonight, Tom? I'm okay. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's good. You look lovely. Thank you. You do look fabulous. Like in the shade. Uh, cheers. Uh, it's got the uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, um, for people who don't know much about your music, what can you tell us about Tom Hollywood? Um, uh, I write songs and um, uh, they come out in all different ways. Sometimes uh, they're prettier, sometimes they're not so pretty. Um, I got some uh, pedals that make nasty sounds. I also, uh, yeah, like to, I don't know. Sounds uh, exciting. Hmm, sure. I'm excited. So where are you from, Tom? Um, I'm from, well, I've lived here for five years. Um, I lived in Leeds before then and I'm from Suffolk uh, originally. Fields and farmers and, uh, yeah. Can we ask what made you make the journey up north? Uh, I uh, put a pin in a map. Um, really? uh, basically, when you go to uni, I guess you know you make a lot of friends up and down the country, and it's just like uh, got to go somewhere. So um, it's yeah. because you didn't get in any unis down south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, you got me. You got me. You got me. That's it. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for Tom Hollingworth after the Garage Live? Where do you see yourself? Um, I've got a, a band at the minute um, called Luna Bells and um, some very talented guys. A guy called uh, Mark Bird, who's in a band called Yellow Creatures. I don't know if you guys have heard them yet, but um, either way, uh, yeah, I just want to make a load of noise with them. Basically, um, uh, it's nice. I've played like uh, alone sort of for a long time, and it's like uh, these guys uh, have worked on my songs and uh, yeah, make a load of noise. So um, yeah, it's fun. Well, we're really looking forward to hearing you. We've got one last question. We're sure. going to ask every band tonight a question, and this is the question this week. If you could perform with anybody, dead or alive, any artist, who would it be? Um, I think uh, it's a guy called Yoni Wolf, and he's uh, he goes up by a pseudonym called Y. He's a um, Canadian guy. Um, he uh, makes kind of um, uh, abstract, sort of surreal music. Uh, yeah, he's very good. Um, I don't know how his brain would work, so uh, <laughs> to be around him would be a pleasure, I think. Oh, that sounds good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be forward but let's make children let's make a million right now with the sun up and coming well this is the morning for them feel the plane through the clouds kneel right into your bosoms I'm a lucky rapscallion with pucks dust blown in my eyes I want to shake you and take you to the morning birds sweet tuning Till Atlas gives up on the skies And oh We've been running into times Two sides of all that you are And oh Can't hide from the surprise When you figured it out It's when you start to rise Welcome in a new world and rise when they show you how it unfurls You have so much to give So let love, let live And take it all in your stride and rise Ten years later Things just keep getting better We're sharing paella in the park Through all of our colours the music remembers that September we clicked for the spark Now ever since we've been learning Through the smiles of our children they've been 
keeping it beating with hands They gave us a master key So we could come back for free To a wardrobe with different demands And oh We've been running into times Two sides of all that you are Oh Can't hide from the surprise When you figured it out It's when you start to rise Welcome in a new world and rise When they show you how it unfurls You have so much to give So let love, let live and take it All in your stride Flying in a new world and rise When they show you how it unfurls You have so much to give so let love, let live and take it all in your stride and rise. Yeah, rise. Yeah, rise. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers. This is a very surreal uh, situation. This is very okay, that's a, a love song of sorts. Um, this is a, a different kind of uh, love song. This, uh, this is a love for life song. This is called Get Snogging. <laughs> this time is all you have, so think fast. For what you snog, flag fly up, trial that beast. For what you snog, sails on seas to be here now. Be here now, be here now, be here now. Stop yourself and all clay creatures snap moving stones to connect islands yes rip your muscles and unstick leeches for what you snark oh rip her bone so she can be here now be here now be here now be here now in time Teacher, like you're playing charades, blindfolded on grass. How do I feel now? My manic depression, two dogs pulling in opposing directions. How will I love now with alien creatures? Juggle with feelings caught fallen from ceilings. What will I feel like crossing that line? Like you want to see the moon one last time. When will I reach that long fall place? When you give up pretending you are in time and space. Would you like to give her a warm welcome? Yeah. So, Catherine, how long have you 
long have you been performing for us on the local music scene? Um, I've been performing since I was about 16, so five years now. But it's been mainly cover gigs that I've been doing, and I've only just started writing my own music. <laughs> and what, what made you want to start writing your own music? I think it was kind of just the fact that I've been performing covers since I was 16, and I kind of just thought, why haven't I started writing music by myself? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've tried. When I was 16, I wrote the odd song, but never really took it seriously. Mm -hmm. But now I want to like make a go of it properly. So. Good for you. Good. How would you explain your style? And what, what, who would you? It's a better question. Who would you say that you are in the same music genre as? I don't know. <laughs> That's, That's a hard question. question. Um, I'd say it's probably more like modern, like current um, mm -hmm. singer songwriters, like the likes of Ben Howard. I'm really influenced by and daughter. And Edgy oh. and them. Um, that, that the same hair. <laughs> 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 so, Catherine, we're going to ask you that special question. Um, if you could collaborate with absolutely anybody, dead or alive, who would you choose? Um, there's too many. Currently, I really, really like the band Heim, yeah, the girl band, mm -hmm. and I just think I really want to be in that band. Yeah. So, I'd love to perform with them. Cool. Probably Brilliant. Then. I'm sure they'd love to have you as well, <laughs> as everybody will notice when they hear you. So can we all give her a round of applause? Good luck, Catherine. <laughs>
this song is pretty much the opposite of what I've just sung about. This is a nice bit of angry song. Um, this one's called Hurricane. Whispers from the tall trees and now you let me down you won't leave me now Seeing through the smoke screen through this dark and cloud I don't need this now Cause you are the thunder dragging me under and making it hard for me to breathe But I and I know you let me down the first time You let me down a hundred more Whisper that you love me down, you don't mean it now. You suffocating my screams, lying face down. They can't hear me now. Cause you are like thunder, you're clouding me over and making it hard for them to see that I am a hurricane and I know you let me down the first time. all around me Now you let me down when I don't need you now Screaming, can't you hear me While you're breaking down when I'm still standing ground Cause you are no longer Dragging me under I found the sense to finally see That I am a hurricane you let me down the first time You let me down a hundred more is to promote local talent in the northeast area and we've got a guy here tonight who is doing exactly that and he is fab at what he does and he's making it really really big at the minute so please put your hands together for local comedian mr chris ramsey hello, hello. hello. thank you very much for coming hi thank you i feel really i 
I, I, I feel like a fraud. There's been like genuinely talented, amazing musicians on, and now I've just come on to talk shit. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> we think it's great that you're here supporting the local music. Yeah, why not? It's lovely seeing all this at grassroots, like really, really good. You're enjoying so, it, aren't you? I really yeah, am. I'll be in the back from the old foot tap. I would tune, but yeah. It's been <laughs> nice. <laughs> tap tune. Tune. I'm that bad, I can tap out with tune. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I can do. And uh, your garage live, it's nice. Had to go upstairs to get here, not garage. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, garage. Uh, you couldn't get a car in here. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Other than that, everything's tip top. Just a bit of health and safety check on that. And it's all good. <laughs> so, what are you up in with comedy at the moment, Chris? With comedy at the moment, um, what am I doing? I'm writing a new show. Well, it's it sort of written. Um, I was. In stand up, normally you go in like yearly cycles. You'll do like um, you got the Edinburgh Festival every every August, and that's kind of like in in sort of May and June and July. Every comedian worth their salt in the country is like panicking, like it's like cramming for an exam. You're like writing new stuff and you're going to little rooms and you're testing it out. But I didn't. I don't really do the festival in that respect anymore. I've sort of, I've, I've shifted the other way. So now I do all of my panicking now before <laughs> national tour. Um, so I basically started writing it, but I, I booked in like 25 preview dates in little rooms to test it out. And I finished it after like five. So now I've got 15 of just like going out and doing a show, which is a lovely, it's a oh. lovely mistake, a uh, problem to have. But I'm gonna, by the end of the tour, I'm going to be bored of my own voice. <laughs> I'm going to be really sick of it. The new tour is called The Most Dangerous Man on Saturday Morning Television. Yes. Can you wear... Uh... Can you explain that? Alright, um, it's it's an ironic title. Um, basically, I got asked. To, I got. I'm the only person ever who's been kicked off Soccer AM. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, it's on YouTube. You can go and watch it. After. That's not your homework. Um, <laughs> but you can go and watch it if you want. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I'm the only person I've got kicked off. You can go. I've been on twice. If you go on three times, you get like a hat trick ball. We've goodbye to that a while ago. Um, oh, and, uh, yeah, I've had sort of filled in shelf space around where that was going to be. Um, and yeah, I, I basically I got asked to do a thing for Radio Two recently, and they said, "Well, what you on?" But we're really worried about what you might say. And I was like, "Oh, have I become that guy?" I was like, "Have I become that that prick who will just come on the tone?" So I was really worried about it. So the title's ironic. It's the most dangerous man Saturday Montelli. What happened was, I was on. When's this one on YouTube? That one's on anyway, it doesn't matter. I was on Soccer AM and they said, tell them about it. They've got nothing. I don't like football. So they had nothing to talk to us about. I don't know why I was there. <laughs> right? I don't know. I've been there twice. The first time, the only story I had, the first time I went on, I only had one story and it was about, I had a wee in between Gary Lineker and Alan Shearer. Nice. That sounds weird. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like a game for sordid party and I didn't just run and go, hey, and just leg it. It was like, a, it was like, a, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was in a toilet at the stadium light. Wow. And I went for a, the urinal for a wee. And uh, two-handed, it's not. Um, <laughs> I, uh, sorry, man, there's a kid there, I'm not looking in the eye. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and they came in, they basically came in like like two like two velociraptors on Jurassic Park. They just came in the same. Girls, clever girls. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I told them that story the first time, and they're like, right, I thought poorly. And then the second time, they're like, we've got nothing. So they're using really sort of tenuous links to speak to us. And they said that. Um, they said, you, you're on Twitter, have you ever been, um, have you ever had people have a go? And everyone has a go on Twitter, you know what I mean? You get people, people say things on Twitter that they wouldn't say in real life because they're not face to face with you. So they said, um, a bloke, I was tweeting out about a gig, this is what happened, I was tweeting out about a gig, I had 100 seats left in an 1100 seater. And I'm not bragging, I was very proud of that, it was the biggest show I'd done to date. So it was 100 seats left, I was getting greedy, I didn't think I'd sell a thousand, so it was 100 left, so I tweeted out, get there's some tickets left, there's some tickets left, some tickets left. And this guy tweeted in and he said, uh, oh, uh, you've tweeted this a few times, mate. Flogging a dead horse, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, because they're the most annoying ones. They're the most annoying tweets. It's not like, die. It's the ones that go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag just saying, ah! It's so irritating. <laughs> you know what I mean? As well, just before we go, a little, uh, let, uh, any musicians in the room thinking, you know, if you've been, like, uh, oh, they've all been fantastic, but you know, if you think, if you get to that level where you think you've been you've been plowing away and you've been plowing away and, and it, it might you know what I mean it might not be happening for you and you're going and you think no don't always keep going always keep trying you can all take a life lesson from the hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, bide your time. Remember looking at the phone years ago and go, what the fuck is that button for? <laughs> 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 so, uh, so yeah, thank you. I uh, it was nice to go. Well done. Um, <laughs> hey, bloody got a bottle getting up there. I, uh, <laughs> so I'm sitting yes. on the soccer end sofa, and they said, 
tell what time now. So I told this time, I said a guy tweeted saying, flogging a dead horse, are we? And they all went, oh. And everyone got excited in Soccer AM. They're like, I bet Chris Ramsey slammed this guy in a completely family friendly way because it's half 10 in the morning on live TV. <laughs> so I said, listen, I tweeted him back saying, listen, mate, no, there's 100 seats left in an 1100 seater. The horse is very much alive and it's currently bumming your dad. <laughs> 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 Just do it again. You've done it again. I'll just do it again. Um, so yeah, and I got kicked off. Um, so yeah, so that, that's what happened. But I can imagine with that, because I've watched Soccer AM, I don't like football, but I have watched it. It's very much a raucous kind of environment. It's like a boys, everyone, yeah. Yeah, everyone's yeah. together. There's people in the corner, there's like a group like that, they're all going, it seems like, Ugh. But then once I said that, it changed. They all sort of showed their true colours. Like the football fans in the corner were like just taking their scarves off, going, why is he saying these things? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why is he saying these words? So how, did not swim? How, did the, how did they leave? What all happened? They kicked, they kicked us off. They, um, they, they came, well, it, it, I don't want to give too much of it away for the, um, but it, basically... Oh, it's the, fine, um, your new show. It's fine, the, um, <laughs> a bit, bit of promo, never hurts anyone. Um, that wasn't why I got kicked off, I got kicked off for 20 minutes later. Um, the, the lady said, um, she went, hey guys, guess what? For the first time ever this week, uh, Soccer AM is on Sky One Plus One. So if you've missed anything, you can go back and watch a whole show again. But don't watch Chris Ramsey because you swore, didn't you, Chris? And I was thinking, I went, Bowman's not swearing! <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, it was, I'll tell it all in my new show, but yeah, that's what the whole show is about. It's, it's essentially just a series of embarrassing stories. I've done, I've done three tours, and the first one was the one I got nominated for the, like, the Perry Award for, the, the Edinburgh Comedy Award, and that was a, it had a big story to it, and I really enjoyed that. And then the second one had quite a big story, and this one's sort of like, it's like an hour and ten of like yeah. pure, just pure stand-up, just big banging hits and um, I'm really happy with the jokes, I'm happy with the material. It's quite rude, but I'm the butt, I'm the butt of every joke and I think you have to be as a comedian. You can't brag, you can't be like, because I've got to talk about being on telly in the show and it's really it's the first time I've ever done that. You know me like, like you watch Lee Evans now and he goes, I was in the supermarket the other day and you go, you're a lovely man, you're hilarious, but you were not in the supermarket the other day. <laughs> you definitely weren't in the supermarket. I can put money on the fact that you weren't in the supermarket. Um, so yeah, it's, you, know, so just, you write about what you know, I think. Same with musicians, you write about what you know. Have you got any advice for people who are trying to make it big in the world of show business? What can you say? Um, yeah, for all the musicians, just I would say for the musicians out there, the musicians on the show, I have fantastic talent. Just gig, 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 gig. That's all you can do. Just, just gig as much as you can. A lot of it's talent. A lot of this game is right place, right time. I, all right, I've worked hard and I've done a lot of things, but I've been there's so much blind luck involved. People saying here, Al Murray saw us and took us on tour, that was total luck, I had nothing to do with that. Things like that happening, and Ed Sheeran, who was mentioned before, he's a good mate of mine, he did 400 gigs in one year. Mm. That's like, that, obviously like a couple of nights and sleeping on sofas, and he's, it just works like no one else I've ever seen. And that's, that's, that's the way to do it, just work, 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 and yeah, right place, right time, and luck comes into it, but you've got to make your own luck and be there, yeah. be there, raise your odds, mm -hmm. have as many chances as you can for people to see you and stuff like that, and just keep, yeah. Definitely. For that thank loss. you very much. Thanks for your yeah. information. <laughs> Thanks for supporting local talent. No problem. Thank Chris you. Chris Ramsey, everyone. Yeah. 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 We're joined here by Nick Wood. He's our next act. Nick, welcome to the Garage Live. Hello. Um, could you please just tell us a little bit about the kind of music you're going to play for us tonight? Um, Echo. I know. Oh. Oh. Um, Swimming. Swimming. Horrible, disgusting, sad, lonely, angry music. Oh dear. Yeah. Doesn't sound well, bad. if that's what you came for. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you write your own music? Then? I do. Yes. Fab. Do you um, get? Where do you get your ideas for your music from? Are you a sad and depressing person? All, all the time. I'm terrible to be around. Constantly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've really enjoyed your company tonight. Oh, oh, thank you. That's good. Will you play a happy song? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are your influences? Um, brand new, Ben Hansard, Nirvana, all me those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you local? Where are you from? I am local. Luke. Yeah. Are you local? I'm from, I'm from Spengler, Durham. Nice. Very nice. So, you've really started a burst onto the northeast music scene. Oh, I. Have you got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I decided. Alright, sweet. <laughs> so, have you got any up and coming gigs that people could come Well, yes, to? I have, actually. If, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny, Danny, these, these are tickets to my O2 Academy gig. Oh! Yeah, totally, right, yeah. But, um, <laughs> 
<laughs> and they were only six pounds each, so like. Fat, you know, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's got quite a bunch as well. So yeah. honestly, you want to do all of them? We can all go. <laughs> what were you here for? That's fine. When's that on then, Nick? Uh, 27th of October. 27th of October. Six pounds starts at seven o'clock. That's brilliant. Well done. Oh, uh, you... Plug, 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 plug. Are you on with anyone else, or is it just yourself? Um, it's me for three hours. You know what? Um, Band called Digits, they're cool. Um, after shot, look, loads of bands, loads of cool bands. Wow, I love it. Yeah. Sounds fantastic. Oh, well, we'll let you get started then well, and show you. us what we're going to come and join you for on the 27th. Cool. So, everybody, Nick Wood, can you put your hands Yay! together? Yay! Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Called Fires, thank you very much for listening.
me for a life Actually, the last gig. Yes, my farewell to her. Oh. Um, no, I love it. No, it's good. It's really good when you see a band who are all best friends and you all sing together and you all enjoy and you all enjoy doing your own music. Uh, so, do you see a lot of bands on the local scene? Um, not enough. Mm-hmm. Like, um, there's I've, loads, isn't there? Well, what I've seen tonight just absolutely yeah. like some amazing things. What wrong going? Like that's what I do when I'm blown away. Like that was just phenomenal. Like just really being taken it. Like. I think like things that people enjoy are things that stop the kind of thinking, you yeah. know, like the uh, little voice in the head and like be totally present with things and it's just being like that all night. Oh, glad like, you Just did. like totally enraptured, like so I should go and see them more. You know, uh, really, yes. But like, uh, yeah. So are you ready for the special fresh, guys? Yeah, okay. If you could collaborate with anybody. You oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with anybody, dead or alive, artist or band, who would you choose? Let Ryan take this first. Yeah, yeah. Is it about I'll just think of an answer while he's answering. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it would be for me personally, I suppose, like Bjork. I know some people yeah. wouldn't agree with that. Yeah, mm. I, I love Bjork. Um, I love Bon Iver. Mm. Justin Bernard, I think he's great. Good answer. Good answer. That is a good answer. Um, Anyone else? I would say that the answer to that question would probably change on a month to month basis, yeah. as everything else does. Um, but right now, this moment in time. Miley Cyrus. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah. um, Keep pressing um, Peter Andre. You're in the world! I saw that on camera for uh, I would say um, the guy that just played called Nick Wood. Mm-hmm. That guy? 
I know that the kind of excludes, like, it by default excludes everything else I've just seen, and I would, you know, if they want to come along, that would be magic, because they're like, I don't want to come along and just watch us, I would like to work with them So well. you just want everyone tonight? Yeah. But you're already doing that. Yeah. Well, that's why it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, moving on. <laughs> but give me a chance to put some of those philosophical messages out through your music. Thanks, Chip. Yeah. Okay, so everybody please put your hands together for a local band who are named after a very local landmark, Albert. Yes.
Thank you very much. Bit of velocity by his bit. Thank you very much for that kind embrace. Yeah. <laughs> Metaphorical embrace. Uh, yeah, next one's called Manage, guys. Right? Shame on.
Thanks very much, guys.